Hey, look at this. <laughs> it is official. What's funny, as you guys jump on here, come on in, jump in here. It's family time. What's hysterical is that I actually went live two minutes ago, and I thought I was live, and then I come out here talking, and I'm doing my thing, and it says, go live. <laughs> Anyway, here's what's cool. I keep telling you guys, you don't have to be smart to do what I do. It just is what it is. So welcome, everybody. Come on in. We're uh, going to talk today about um, life. We're going to talk about how we age in this life and we have kids and then kids want to go to college and then we as parents have to pay for that shit. You know, fun stuff. And uh, then we're going to talk about how to make money and how to make more money and and what's coming up in the future and the golden age and there's just so much fun so welcome you guys as you're jumping in here please let me know where you're from like i see kai is from bloomington indiana pay big i swear i saw big pig i don't know why i beth you're saying pay big i read big pig i don't know i'm thinking big daddy beer i don't know but somehow there's conditioning happening. So uh, let me know where you guys, where you guys are from. I see uh, Viorica here from, uh, I think she's in Spain. I think she's in Mallorca. Beautiful. Nikki, hello. Jean, hello. So uh, NC today, that's right. <laughs> you saw that too, Kai? It, so it's not just me. <laughs> there's some, something's happening. It's got to be in the air. So uh, welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome. You were going to meet a cool, uh, cool patriot today. As you guys know, uh, I do a lot of work on the patriot side, what's called Q. And this is not the conversation for that. But that's how I met this gentleman. And um, <clears throat> and as you guys know, is what we're going, what we're going through as a as a as a as a country, and then more as the whole freaking uh, globe here, there's just a lot of uh, uncertainty in the world. And because of that, we're looking to help as many people as possible, maybe just have make things a little bit easier, you know, whatever that looks like. So that's a point of uh, the conversation today. You're going to meet a really cool cat. Welcome, Wanda. Lubbock. Is it Lubbock or Lubbock? Is it French? Lubbock or Lubbock? I think it's Lubbock. Gene, Desert Hot Springs. Welcome. I see Beth, you're still in uh, over there. <laughs> Wanda Durham. Wanda Durham, yes, but where are you from? That looks like Durham, some state. Montana Craig, what's up? Tampa, Antoinella. Antoinella, very nice. Welcome. Uh, Darlene, hello. So when are you visiting? Let me know. Ascultam cu mare plăcere și admirale. But where are you from? Antoinella, de unde ești? Where are you from? Where are you? Are you in Romania? Where are you at? I need to know these things. Uh, unless you already told me and I missed it. Oh, Tampa Bay. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys have to get over the whole mask situation and then we'll come visit. Not a problem. <clears throat> but the whole mask thing, I mean, you guys have it worse than freaking California. And we're in like, you know, freaking communist state of, of all of America. Actually, where Aaron's from, he's in the, he's pretty bad too. So uh, welcome, you guys. This is the Hempibition. Since we're doing this on Facebook Live, you know the rules. I'm going to ask you guys to do a few things because we got to work together. It's called social media for a reason because we're going to make it social. Smash the heart button, not just the thumbs up, but the actual heart. Facebook is emotional. And as you see with all the things they're banning nowadays, they're extremely emotional and the people they're taking down, emotion. So drop a bunch of uh, hearts, please. Thumbs up work as well. And tag anybody that needs to hear this. Regardless of where they are in the world, this business can be done from any chunk of the world, any beach. As long as you have some kind of a cell phone, a laptop, you can be in business. That's the conversation here. So tag somebody, share this. You can right below right now, click the share button, get it out to someone, or you can do what's called a watch party. And those are fun because it takes the conversation to your audience. Uh, so, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you know the rules, you're going to do a thumbs up, you're going to subscribe, you're going to hit the bell to remind you when we post a video and then you're going to leave a nice comment saying, oh my God, what a great show. So this is The Hempibition at youtube.com and also this will be repurposed to the podcast platforms uh itunes stitcher spotify and uh, the goal is just to simply get the message out there share this love with the world help people change their lives and um together we can do so much more are you guys ready i need to know if you guys are ready drop in the comments i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready because if you guys are not ready we're not doing this just yet i'm gonna wait until you guys are ready so i need to know if you're ready who's ready what's up tom you're watch partying. Boom. 
Beth, like, love, comment, tag, share, er, er, start a watch party. Boom. Migs. Hello, Migs. I think you're in Northern California. Uh, very nice. Ready, ready, ready already. That's deep. So here's what's cool, you guys. Uh, there's a really cool cat in the house tonight, today. And uh, we met a couple of two plus months ago, give or take. And um, we met through, as you guys, most of you know, the Q movement. Uh, we're both patriots. We love not just America, but we love the world. We stand for truth. We stand for freedom. We stand for God. We stand for anything that's just true and light and beautiful and love and God and all that fun stuff. So that's how we connected through a friend of ours, uh, QAnon John, and uh, who doesn't have a Facebook page right now? Uh, but outside of that, <laughs> he got busted. Uh, so we came together, uh, met through one of these videos, funny enough, and uh, he saw the vision of this business model and he said, dude, I am in. So uh, today we're going to talk to a phenomenal human being. We also got to meet in person at uh, Mount Rushmore, 4th of July, spent some time together. We really didn't drink much together. We should have drank more, but, uh, you know, it'll leave opportunity for <laughs> next time. <laughs> That's right. So, a phenomenal patriot, a badass father uh, of two, uh, I think they're not teens. And well, somewhere in the teens, they're one, one, teen, college, left, yeah. one yeah. teen left. So uh, him and I are like right there. Uh, awesome husband, uh, phenomenal patriot. Welcome to the Hempibition, Mr. Aaron Ness. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Andre. It's awesome to be here with you, man. My pleasure, brother. Uh, so the goal of this show is to just simply give bigger perspective to op options that we all have uh, in regards to creating income, right? Yeah. Um, and everybody has a different background, right? Like I've been an entrepreneur since I was a baby. I came to America nine years old and I started selling shit. Well, that's me where somebody else maybe just went on the J-O-B route. So everybody's got different, or maybe somebody's got a PhD in, in business and right. Tell us about your background in regards to like, you go back as far as you can, like what yeah. have you done to make money? Yeah. I mean, so, um, I guess, uh, we'll just kind of start back, you know, with college. It, you know, I went to college specifically for, Criminal justice and criminal psychology. That was kind of my uh, passion at the time was mm, to interesting. go into law enforcement, uh, something I was always very passionate about. Um, didn't finish college. Um, I, get, I went through two years of college, uh, never got my four year degree, didn't finish that. Uh, but I met my wife in college who, you know, uh, got pregnant uh, early on and I had to make a pretty quick decision. It was either you keep racking up the loans uh, with college or I find a job and not dig myself into any further debt, <laughs> yeah. you know, is what it came down to. And so uh, I got a construction job right out of the, uh, through a friend right out of the gate where I was doing architectural sheet metal for a few years, making some decent money. But more importantly, I had benefits. I had, you know, so I had healthcare and that was, for me, that was more important at the time, um, just with a new baby on the way. Yeah. And so uh, worked that for a few years and that company went under the guy, you know, lost his business and and then uh, got hired on uh, through a dispatch agency through a police department where it was kind of my foot in the door to ultimately become a police officer. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Oh, wow. Um, but learned pretty quick working as a dispatcher that that the side of law enforcement that is glorified that we well not so much glorified now anymore at the time you know it was it was a more glorified position but i learned pretty quick that it's a it's a very unappreciated and low paid role for what you have to put up with that's right um you know and so pretty quickly i i you know, just came to the realization it's if if I'm going to make any real money and and that's not going to be the career path that I want to go down. And and to be perfectly honest, I didn't want to have to deal with that kind of stress on a day to day basis. And so so I got out of that and I got into sales, um, different forms of sales. So it my initial introduction into sales was doing um, uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, right? Millwork specialist because oh, I wow. had some backgrounds yeah. in in windows, doors, siding. I knew a lot about it. I could talk it up, you know, and, and uh, got into that, got referred into another company that was a uh, home remodeling company. And I became a marketing director there, um, actually did pretty well for them. And, and this is where I learned about the whole 1099 versus W2 loss, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I was paid as a 1099, which at the time I really didn't know what that truly meant. I was an independent contractor, uh, but I also learned that that company was not 
following the laws in terms of an independent contractor. And so I was kind of being ripped off. And, and so I was working my butt off trying to make money. And uh, so I got out of that. And while I was doing that, I got referred into the company that I'm in now. Again, I'm in sales. I'm more of a consultant. I work on the human capital management side now. And I'm in business to business sales. So um, huge company that I work for. Um, I can't say their name, unfortunately. I'm not allowed to, but that's okay. Um, work for a massive company, a uh, multinational company, and and I'm a consultant. So um, I work directly with, in a B2B capacity, business to business, um, I work in marketing human capital management uh, solutions to organizations of all sizes. So whether they're a small business up to huge companies, right? Thousands right. of employees. Um, and it's great because, don't get me wrong, I love my job, love what I do because it's all relationship driven. And, and if I was, if I was in a position where I had to prospect for my business, I wouldn't be here. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Mm. Um, and so I learned to get into that role very quickly and that if I could develop the relationships, then my business would come to me and that's what I've done. So I've been here for about 11 years now and I, it took me a while to work into that role for sure. Um, but I have built up enough relationships now within my role that, um, I can rely on that business coming into me, being referred into me and, and then go hunt the new stuff, uh, you know, that, that I want to build onto that. And so I'm pretty fortunate in the sense that I, I am paid a salary plus commissions because right. a lot of jobs out there these days just don't offer that. Um, and so, I've, you know, for me, I've, I've just kind of felt blessed in that sense that that especially through all this COVID stuff, I mean, you, you know, I deal with businesses on a day to day basis. So I see how many are going under, you right. know, and I and and so it's been. But when I came across, you know, this opportunity, it was it, it just sent up a, a huge signal for me that, yeah, I'm seeing all these companies go under. I mean, I'm talking to business owners that are having to lay off employees on a daily basis and they don't know what they're going to do. And I'm like, I got to have a backup plan because, Maybe. you know, I mean, this day and age, I don't care how good of a job you got. It's it can be gone that quick. Yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Aaron, uh, whatever your phone is sitting on, it's moving a lot. Oh, you know what? It might be my it's my laptop here. Oh, still. so the screen is maybe uh, doing. A little yeah, wobble. I just need to stop bumping the table. That's oh, what or it is. that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so let's do something. So we're just going to have fun with this. Like, there's no order to the conversation. I'm, a, I'm, my thoughts are all over the place. So, uh, you're wearing a woke shirt. I did yeah. a post today about a really good friend of ours who just got his Amazon merchant account shut down because he sells these woke shirts and Q shirts, etc. Yep. Uh, for people watching this that maybe are not aware of the woke what that means in the q movement and how you and i met let's go there a little bit because that still yeah. has to do with who you are today and then we'll piggyback as uh -huh. to your passion of doing the site hustle business and then also helping other patriots QAnons out there be able to make money from home so let's talk about the woke concept yeah i mean boy that goes deep <laughs> <laughs> um it so for me i mean it's it's been a it's been quite a ride because i was uh I just, I'm, I'm kind of one that I, I tend to think that those of us have, that, that have been around since the beginning of Q, it's for a reason. Yeah. Why we, we may not have figured that out yet, but um, I was on 4chan and I was on Twitter the night that Q dropped the first drop. And so I didn't happen to see it hit, but I just saw the murmurs of it on Twitter and thought, wow, that's, you know, I'm kind of into the conspiracy stuff. So when I hear about like, you know, this is going to be a conspiracy or this, it's me. I'm like, eh, I'm going to dig into it a little bit and yeah. see, you know, just because. So, so, of course, when I read that first Q drop, um, I, I was in because, I mean, we're talking about the arrest of Hillary Clinton. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, whoa, OK, here we go. Um, yeah. You know, so so I've been following them pretty much since day one. And and the more, you know, anyone that's followed Q for any length of time, you know, it's not. It's not so much a, a here's the facts presented to you. It's it's more of a here's the puzzle pieces that you have to fit together, yeah. right? And, yeah. and so the whole idea of Q 
is 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 putting out these what they call crumbs, you know, little trinkets of information, so to speak, that yeah. we now kind of have to take and dig on a little bit and figure out what it leads to or what it connects to. And yeah. And so I just I got hooked right away because that's just kind of one of my things where as I start digging into some of that, and I, I start putting those pieces pieces of the puzzle together. Um, it, it it's addicting. It kind of consumes you. <laughs> and so, so where did this uh, patriotism come for you? Like, were you always like, Oh, America first? Were you always absolutely. like, okay, got it. So it's yeah, not hundred like, percent. I mean, and I guess I would say it, it probably comes from upbringing for the okay. most part. This, yeah. uh, you know, my, my father's a, a former military a Marine Corps veteran uh, served in Vietnam my grandfather was in the army. Uh, he was actually part of the first platoon that raided Dachau uh, during wow. World War II. I've been there. You know, yeah. So, you know, so for me, it's the patriotism, uh, patriotism side of it has always been there. And, nice. and so, um, and so even before Q for me, I knew about the corruption. I knew the, the stuff with the emails and some of the stuff that was going on. I just didn't know how deep it truly yeah. was. How dirty. You know, and, yeah, and, and so Q really was an eye-opener for me. I mean, it, it led me down some rabbit holes that I never would have gone down myself, for sure. Got it. Um, and so it's just become more of a passion, really, to get the information out there and, yep. and share that with people. That's, and, and yeah. And that's, and that's now, obviously, today, it's just a, a really, uh, such a rapidly growing fabric right because not only <clears throat> not only are we doing what we're doing but now we have mainstream media thinking they're talking shit about us but they're really giving us advertising they're like who yeah. do these q people think they are all oh, these conspiracy yeah. theorists and all these other people that have never heard of us they're like what's q yeah and, right so we're just like yeah. blowing up and now twitter's taking down accounts and it's so, <laughs> it's so cool you know amazon's doing their thing so yeah we're growing by leaps and bounds because we know truth is truth. Light is light. And you can't, you, you know, it, it just, that's, that's the winner. I yeah, don't care absolutely. how you bend it. Right. Yep. So, all right. So you're a patriot, you're passionate. And, uh, when you, so sorry, I want, I, I want to touch on your wife and the daughters yeah. and then we'll piggyback business and then your passion to help people. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, your wife, tell us a little bit about her and then your daughters. Yeah. Let's go there. Yeah. So I've been married 21 years. Um, oh. I've got a, uh, my oldest daughter is 21 years old. She is a, uh, going to be a senior in college. Sorry. And then, sorry. Yeah. So you've been married 21 and your daughter's 21. Yes. Yeah. You're a bad I boy. You gotta do the math, right? <laughs> no, I just did. It's not that hard. <laughs> we, we dated a while before oh, that. I'm sure you did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, my daughter was born, uh, 26 days after my 21st birthday. So, wow. yeah. So I had just turned 21 and then my daughter was born right at the end of the month. Wow. That's uh, cool. Yeah. And so, uh, my youngest daughter's 18, just, uh, graduated high school, 2020, what a year to be a senior, <laughs> you know? So, <laughs> um, she's getting ready to go into college. And, and so, uh, you know, we've got a lot of bills to pay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and then my wife, she works actually for, a um, she works on the medical side, um, but she's an educator. So uh, my wife actually went to college. She had a, she has a major double major actually in elementary education and early wow. childhood development. Hmm. And she was trying to get a role uh, early on with, as a, as a teacher within the elementary system, uh, school system. And just happened to be brought on as a temporary role for an organization uh, down here that works with multiple hospitals. And um, they were kind of testing out a new online medical records filing system at the time called Epic that um, they were going to use her as a temporary role, get rid of her. And, and it turns out she was really good at it. And so now she runs the, the uh, program essentially. So she designs the curriculum for Epic for the doctors and the surgeons and the medical nice. professionals and, nice. and then trains people on that and has been doing that for about 13 years now. So, um, you know, so both of us, I mean, in, in terms of our jobs, we've both been very fortunate because we haven't been really impacted at all by 
the COVID situation. Right. Um, and and, and so, two daughters yeah. in college or one yeah, in college? So I'm going to have two this year in college at the same time, which I'm like, <laughs> how's, that, how's that pain level? <laughs> how's the what? The pain level. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell yeah. you my oldest. So my oldest daughter got a very large scholarship uh, to the college that she's going to oh, that awesome. covers a good chunk of it because of her grades. Um, right. And so she, uh, that, that takes care of about a third of the cost. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, but that's it helps. Something. And yeah, and so it's, you know, and then my youngest daughter starting at, at a community college this year instead of a four year, which I'm thankful for, um, you know, just because, and honestly, the decision was made because the four year universities are all, they don't know what they're doing yet, really, right. around here. And so, um, you know, so we'll have two in college this year and figure out how we're going to do that. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day at a time. That's right. So <clears throat> your excitement when you saw the video that John and I did, mm -hmm. what got you? Like you saw the information, yeah. right? What was it? What did it? There were a couple of things, honestly. So number one, um, the industry itself, I'm very familiar with. Uh, so the, the CBD industry is something that I've been not necessarily with the industry, but I've been involved with the product for a long time. I've been doing a lot of research on it, mainly because I know the benefits of it. Um, I've okay. seen it. I, I've seen the the positive uh, effects that it can have. Um, and I, I, know I have family and friends that have benefited from it. And so when I saw that, uh, I mean, it was just kind of a combination of I've been following you guys for a while, happened to see the podcast. You guys were affiliated with QAnon. And I saw this and watched it and was like, wow, okay, I'm interested. And then really kind of dug into the business a little bit to figure out, because I've done the MLM thing too, right? Sure. I've done the multi-level marketing. Uh, there's a ton of companies out there that you can do it with. And so I'm always a little bit hesitant on that, right? And But the product itself was one of those things that caught my attention where I'm like, this is, I mean, this is something that everybody's kind of looking for right now. And, it, and it's, it's a very popular in the market. Um, and especially with everything you got going on with pharmaceutical companies, people getting away from prescription medications, yep. uh, those types of things. And so that really hooked me in. And then the other side of it for me personally was was more along the lines of just knowing what I do on a day to day basis and interacting with businesses one on one, CEOs, CFOs, you know, I see and, and I've been doing this for almost 12 years now with this company, 11 and a half, roughly. Um, and I've seen over that course of time, you know, the average person that has a nine to five job, we go into work, we clock in and clock out every day That's and right. we get paid either an hourly rate or we get paid at that salary. And, yeah. and in our mind, you know, for the most part, I've been guilty of this as well. We think that the CEO is the guy up there making all this money, you know, when in reality, in a normal job, that's not necessarily the case. The CEOs are the ones getting hammered the hardest with legislation. Yep. And and so I've seen it over the years where states, doesn't matter, counties, cities, they just tack on more and more legislation, taxes, just they make it harder and harder and harder for business to operate. And, and they're hitting the smaller ones even harder than they are the bigger ones. And so, you know, in my mind, it's like, Man, I you know I can keep doing this, and don't get me wrong, I'm in a position where I can I can make my salary and commission on top of that, but at the same time, you know I'm having to put in insane hours to do it, right. and exactly. and a lot of times these businesses, you know, and and if you're working for maybe a smaller company, you have to keep in the back of your mind now is like is that company going to be around in a year from now, right? Like, sure, we we don't know. And that's the thing where it just really got me thinking, like, I don't know how secure my job really is. Um, you know, I know I'm secure just because of my tenure and because of the nature of, of the role that I'm in. Right. They can't just bring somebody in and fill my position because I've been right. here too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's for me, that was a huge trigger that that it's like this is a great backup plan that I can that I could maybe fall back on and just utilize while I'm doing this. And if I can supplement my income, I'd do this all day long. <laughs> you know, it, it's interesting because a lot of people, uh, because of the lack of education, as we all come from typical high school, and mm -hmm. then if you do go to college, they don't really teach you the stuff that you need to go <laughs> out there in the world and create a bunch of uh, success. What happens is people 
think, oh man, I'm making $80,000 a year or I'm right. making $150,000 a year. But nobody taught us to stop and say, okay, cool. I'm making 150,000 a year, but in that 365 days, how many hours mm -hmm. from waking up, showering, pooping, breakfast, coffee, traffic, drive to work, come back from work, the hour of lunch that's wasted life. Yeah. Right. Nobody, nobody accounts for that hour. They think, oh, it's just my hour lunch. Bullshit. That's yeah. like eating up an hour of your life every day for somebody else. Anyway. And then you drive home, undo all the stuff. <clears throat> and then you take all those hours and multiply them by the whole year. See how many days of you've worked, etc. And then you take that apart next to your salary. Yeah. How much did you really, really, really make per hour? Yep. And now you got to take apart the tra the the travel because you had a car, uh, gas, insurance, blah 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 blah. So exactly. then, one hundred and fifty thousand a year. What's what's that net worth per hour? Twelve bucks an hour, and it's right. freaking scary when people because that's a conversation I have with people now because they're like, oh, I have it great, awesome. Let's let's talk real quick, and I break it. It takes like two minutes, and they're like, holy shit. Yeah, I never looked at it that way. So great point. <laughs> you yeah. well, and, and, and you're spot on because it's, I mean, even in my role, I make great money, but I don't have a nine to five job. My job right. is seven days a week. And, yeah. and, you know, I joke about it, it, but in my role, I get calls on Saturday and Sunday, or if I want to go on vacation, I can put in vacation hours with my boss, yeah. but my laptop is with me wherever I'm going. Bam. You know, and so it's just, I cannot break loose from my job, regardless of what I do, just because of the role I'm in. Right. And so there really is no <coughs> downtime, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, I get it very well, especially when you're salaried, it's like they, they own you. Yep. So, so let me tell people briefly, and again, I, whether you're watching this live or you've never seen us before, or you're here for Aaron, or you're seeing this on YouTube, or you're hearing this on a podcast, here's what we're talking about. There's a system, a global system, uh, that's called network marketing. Network marketing, I look at as business in a box. Business in a box for me is very, very simple, specific, and exciting because any one of you that wants to go start a business today, you're going to need a few things, right? Like if you want to open up a bookstore or an online business, you're going to have a few things that you have to do before you can get to the thing called to make a sale. And then more importantly, to get to a thing called profit. It's all about profit. If you're not thinking profit, don't go into business. There's no other point, right? <laughs> so typically when somebody wants to start a business, whether it's a brick and mortar, a, a, a franchise, an online thing, whatever, it doesn't matter. You need capital, which means cash. And let's say you don't have cash, okay? You're gonna go borrow it. So you're gonna go into debt. You're gonna take on liability to go get this money to go start a business. So you're not starting even at, at freaking ground floor. You're starting in the basement because you have to go get a loan. To go get a loan, you gotta have credit. To have good credit, that means you're gonna have some assets. So in order for you to even launch that business, you gotta be already set somehow. Then you get a loan, then you go start a business, then you now have to get the building or the website or the inventory or the sales machines, the funnels, the uh, employees, the accountants, the attorneys, the, eh, eh, I can go on and on and on. I've done this since I was a kid. I've, I've launched, uh, I think I did yesterday. I've, I've been a part of, I've launched over a hundred businesses in my journey wow. and that's outside of real estate. So I've launched and scaled over a hundred businesses in my journey, uh, in America. So point is I've done it. It hurts. It's painful because nobody taught us, Oh, look, there's a better way. There's an easier way. You can actually get to profit now as opposed to later. So when I say business in a box, imagine that all of that stuff I just mentioned, the inventory, the production, the marketing, the warehouses, the employees, the production, the growing of the material, whatever it is, the, 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 the branding, the stickers, the bottles, the employees and the, you follow me? It's all when, when everything is done for you and you, you're giving the whole thing inside of a box and you're like, Oh, this is now my business in a box. That means inside this box, you have everything you need to go make profit. Mm -hmm. And here's the difference. So Tammy and I, uh, years ago, we 
we got into CBD, just like Aaron mentioned, we got into CBD uh, because we knew it was doing some cool things in my family, extended family. My father used it, uh, a couple of my brothers, and we saw cool things. So we're like, hey, interesting, let's get some. So we started getting into CBD. Then it became like this, yeah, about four years ago or so, it was just like everybody's talking about it. We got to invest. You got to buy land. You got to grow hemp. You got to grow cannabis. You got... And we looked at it. We actually started running numbers to buy land, grow hemp, start a production facility, launch a brand. And it was going to take three to five years <clears throat> from start to profit. Listen to me, three to five years from start to profit. And it would be a few million dollars to get to that profit. So three to five years and a few million dollars to get to that profit. And we looked at it for a couple of years and eventually I had this thing like, man, I wonder if there's like a phenomenal, phenomenal CBD brand, organic, clean, American, like all that good shit uh, that would be inside of a network marketing company. Because that right there, everybody can do. And guess what? You can get to profit now, not in three to five years, you get to profit now. So that's how we two years ago found, nobody found us. We found this company called Hempworks. My Daily Choice uh, is the parent company. Hempworks is the under affiliate, under whatever it is. Uh, and it's the, the products are all CBD or hemp CBD or just hemp related. So we have everything from oils to gummies to uh, topicals to hair care to pet products, uh, essential oils. I mean, we really get bath bombs. We get into some really, really cool products. And the reason we have such a diverse line of products is because the owners wanted to go global as fast as possible. So for example, there are countries that don't allow CBD products yet. They will, but just not yet. So can we ship them creams for now? Topical CBD or sorry, so yeah, CBD and hemp uh, topicals. The answer is yes. Can we ship them hair care? Yes. So that's why we have some, not a lot, but the products that we do have was for global expansion. It worked really, really well. And uh, today it's just blowing up uh, by leaps and bounds. So that's the concept of business in a box. That's the, that's what obviously Aaron and I and John QAnon, John, that's what we're doing together as a team. And inside of this concept called network marketing and business in a box. The idea is very simple. You got to do two things. You got to open your mouth and then you got to get paid. That's really all you have to do because everything else is done for the company ships for us. You send somebody your link to your website. They buy oil, they buy pet products, or they sign up as an affiliate with you. Guess what happens? You get paid. The company does everything else. And that to me was the most exciting part because duplication is, is the magic. So if anybody can do this, then I thought, man, that we could really help a lot of people with this. So, uh, I just, I wanted everybody to understand exactly what we're talking about. Aaron, uh, tell me now your, cause now you've had, you've had, you've used the products. Yeah. Oh yeah. You use it every day. You've had, you've, you've made sales. Yep. The money's hit your account. Yep. And let's, I don't know. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah, no. So that's, I mean, you kind of alluded to this. So I didn't really realize until I kind of got into a little bit how turnkey this actually is. And yeah. and I don't know that I've seen another multi-level marketing company that's quite as turnkey as this, uh, where you literally need no overhead, no nothing. Like you said, a email link and your mouth, you talk, right? Uh, just get the word out there. And so that was really intriguing. And then just the, just the 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 way you can in, invest in the company or invest in yourself to start and and how you can kind of choose how you want to get into the company was also really intriguing to me so it was it was one of those things where um it wasn't a ram it down your throat type of sale from the company side right, right. It, uh, it's more of a hey you start where you're comfortable with and go from there and so that to me was was a breath of fresh air <laughs> from, from a multi-level marketing standpoint. Sure. And so, yeah, yeah. Um, so the turnkey side of it is great. I use the products every day. In fact, I just got another shipment of stuff uh, just this last week that I had ordered. Mm. Um, it, the, I pretty much, you know, I've made the money back that I've already invested into it in a month. And so, you know, I don't know, well, I guess a little bit over a month, because to be perfectly honest, I'm not working it as hard as I could be. Um, mainly because of my other job, <laughs> my real job, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And so, but it, it kind of blew my mind how in my second week, all of a sudden I got a, I got money direct deposited into my account. Like 
this is that's, that's kind of cool. I've never had that happen before right. you know, with any multi-level marketing company. And so it, it really they make it as simple as possible so that if if you can just get the word out there to people and market it the way that that the company has set it up for you, it operates on its own. It does its own thing. And and the products will speak for themselves. I don't I don't know that I've ever crumb. You'd probably be better to speak on this than I am, but I don't know that I've ever seen another company with a product like this that offers a 60 day empty bottle money back guarantee. That I, is, I haven't seen it. It, uh, it. I don't think it exists. I, yeah, I really don't. I, yeah. The, the company is so certain on its products that they literally, we used to have, it, it used to be 30 day empty bottle money back guarantee <clears throat> and then it shifted to 60. And I'm like, that's just incredible. Like who does that? Right. right. So, and it just, it shows, and I, in two years, uh, to keep it like real, cause that's all I know is just real. Uh, I think we've had, gosh, three people return. Wow. Yeah. Three. I mean, what of God, <laughs> how many orders, uh, for whatever reasons I didn't like, yep. this, didn't like that. It doesn't matter, but it's like to have that 60 day empty bottle money back guarantee for whatever reason. Yep. It's just, it's priceless. It's amazing. Um, yeah. yeah. So you chose, so you chose to get paid uh, via direct deposit. Yes. Yep. Did you see the other options? I did. Yeah. In fact, uh, I'm going to look into some of those other options actually, yeah. especially right now with, you know, the economy and everything going on. Um, yeah. They can pay you in digital currency. They can, I mean, it's awesome how you just have multiple options on how you can actually receive pay from the company. Yep. And also, um, in, uh, you can get precious metals. You can get paid in yeah. silver coins, gold coins, platinum coins. That's hot. Yeah. It's awesome. That, that is hot. It's <laughs> very cool. <laughs> well, everything that we know, we're going to a gold back currency system Absolutely. here. That's what Trump is, uh, Daddy Trump is doing. Uh, so, you know, to get into the, to get paid to start collecting, uh, uh, not aluminum, geez, Louise, uh, uh, yeah. uh, platinum, sil silver, uh, silver, gold, platinum coins, uh, very, yeah. very priceless. It's a cool oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So it's just and 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 the way they utilize the technology, I think that really was intriguing as well, because they're definitely up to date on the mobile side of technology, the right. being able to interact through social networking, you know, so regardless of whatever social media platform you're on, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Parler, doesn't really matter. They've yeah. got the tools in place for you to be able to utilize something that you can market your own business through your social networks as well. So it's, and it's just, it's turnkey. So you don't really have to put anything together. You just pull up a link and send it. And it's great. So. That's a great point. Uh, the company is, is um, extremely trendy. Like they yeah. really stay up on top of just like the coins. Like, I mean, like we're getting paid in freaking uh, precious metal. So they're right. just, they're always a step or a few steps ahead of, uh, and funny enough, the owner, Josh Swagel is a master chess player. Wow. So yeah, just a little, he's got some Trump uh, energy there. So he's just always a few steps ahead, always knowing what's coming up. What's, uh, uh, and there's some cool stuff coming up too that I cannot talk about, <laughs> but there's some cool stuff, cooler, even cooler stuff coming up uh, very soon. So just more ways of us to make money for us to make money, but it's, uh, it's trendy. It's something that's coming up and it's, um, it's becoming a hot topic today. So anyway, so <laughs> we're just in, in a really, really cool place with this company. And like you brought up the idea that, Hey, all you do is you send somebody your link, they click mm -hmm. on it and they can either buy products or they can become yep. an affiliate or both. Right. And yep. then we, what's cool now is this, as soon as you're in the team with us, we have a, a Facebook group that we suck you into really quickly. We give you a nice welcome. And then we direct you to all the training videos that are really quick to the point. We explain to you what network marketing is. We explain to you um, the simplicity of what we do. We explain to you how to get paid fast, just really quick, pop up, up one, two, three type of format. And uh, then we have uh, weekly trainings every Tuesday evening. We have a Zoom session, if you will. And that's where we come out, train, do stuff like this. Last Tuesday night, it was all about Instagram. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. It's something I completely suck at, but you have people on our team that are like phenomenal and killing it on Instagram. So then we bring them out and they share with the team what they're doing. And it's like, uh, you know, it's extreme value just because you're part of the team. So I yeah. love the camaraderie in uh, in what we do. Well, yeah. And, and to add to that, honestly, I mean, in, in 
that was a big selling point for me as well was the was the support because yeah. it's you don't you don't really see that in multi-level marketing it's usually like you get brought in in somebody's downline and you might go to a few meetings here and there uh and you try to learn the ropes and then you're out kind of on your own fish out of water type of thing yeah. um and and that's really one of the cool things about this model uh, is just the ongoing support that you have and and it keeps you engaged personally. I mean, because it is really easy when you're starting out something new like this and you know you got life and everything else going on around you um, to have that, you know, that reminder, so to speak, that just that constant like, okay, I got to focus on this. I see other people that are being successful with this and they're doing it. And so I look at it as like, why can't I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. So for you, <clears throat> the idea of being able to help other patriots, QAnons, mm -hmm. you know, obviously we're going through some crazy, crazy times yeah. where, you know, our school's going to open in the fall. You know, yeah. some like a niece of mine just yesterday finds out that her college is not, they were saying that they were going to like open up the next week or August 20th. And just yesterday, she finds out they're not going back to school probably till 2021. And she's wow. like, devastated. She literally, I mean, whatever her connection to that was. But point is, so you got all these people more and more staying home. Yep. Uh, you know, kids, they're talking about if and when schools open and some have opened, they got to wear a mask. The kids, yep. they have to wear a mask. Have you seen the hats these kids have to wear with that foam six foot? Yes. Thing? For oh my god I can't, uh, yeah i mean I, what are we talking about right right it's, yeah it's absurd i mean but it's reality that's what's that's what's crazy yeah. is the absurdity blows my mind but yeah. it's something we have to deal with there's just not going to be any way around it so. yeah so i so my point i guess with that is with all these people staying home for school purposes or because of their job sucks or did, did they shut down or mm -hmm. etc our goal is to be able to help these people be able to produce an income from home. Because as long as yep. you have a little laptop, like right now you're in an office, I'm in my garage. Yep. Yeah. You know, and, and, and even from your phone, I mean, that's, uh, that's what's great about technology these days is, is you can, I mean, there's, there's a guy on the team that, that we know that literally has no laptop is doing very well and runs his business from his phone. So it's, it's not yep. impossible. New. And, uh, yep. Yeah. It takes uh, I think it just takes hunger. Absolutely. Yeah. It, and that's, that's what it comes down to. And, and you hit it kind of hit the nail on the head. I mean, you know, it's it, and that's part of, for me, like I haven't focused as much energy as I'd love to into this job mainly because yeah. I'm so busy with my work, but, but I would love nothing more than to see somebody that I signed up just all of a sudden take off and blow any of the income I'm making out of the water. Amen. Right. Yeah. Because it's, you know, then I win, I get to win, I get to see them be successful and they're making way more money than I am, but you know, that's kind of the goal. And, and then they're just going to pay that forward. So, you know, and, and we're coming into a time where, we don't really know what's going to happen with businesses right now. We don't know what's going to reopen. We don't know the businesses that are going to continue to close, which I don't think we've seen the worst of this yet, to be honest with you. Nope. Um, I think this is going to be a chain reaction that goes on for quite a while. And yep. it's been a big impact to the economy. And so, you know, so it's, it's you know, if you're not looking at a backup plan in some way, shape or form, I, I almost would say you're kind of doing yourself a disservice, it, you know. Um, it, there's stuff out there and you just got to go find it. And Amen. this was just, I mean, to be involved with a group of people and, and I'm like you, I got a chance to meet a lot of these people that are on our team for the first time in, in South Dakota when we were there at Mount Rushmore. Right. And I mean, it, if that, if that wasn't kind of the seal, the deal for me, I don't know what was, I mean, that yeah. was, <laughs> I got to meet everybody face to face. I'm like, I picked a good group of people to team up with. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's a great point that we you, you get to you get to hang out with people that you uh, with your tribe basically, right? Absolutely, that's, that's, that's the goal here. So, where can people find you? What's the best way for anybody saying, "Hey, man, I I want to look at your business. I want to check out you. I want to be on your team." What's the yeah. best way to find you? So, uh, my direct link is Win with MDC. So it's just all one word: W I N 
with W I T H M D C like Mary David Charles dot com forward slash Aaron Ness, my name, A A R O N N E S S. So double so if you go to winwithmdc.com forward slash Aaron Ness. Um, you'll put in your name, your phone number. Um, that helps me just track uh, who I need to follow up with. And then I encourage everybody to watch the short uh, series of videos. There's four of them there that really highlight the the details of the company and the opportunity overall. So um, I always encourage people to check those out first uh, because it really does give you a good overview of the company and what the opportunity looks like. Um, and then, then we can really kind of get down to nuts and bolts on how it's going to fit you the best. And so uh, what's going to be a, a good fit, whether it's a retail customer, I love the products I just want to buy, great. Um, or if you want to become an affiliate and really start making money on your own, then Andre and I want to help you with that. Like, Amen. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Very cool. So um, I dropped in the comments and so did Beth, uh, winwithmdc.com, double A R O double N E double S. Just, oh, yeah. I, I R O double N. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> First time you and I talked about this, I'm like, oh, it's really cool. It's like double A double N double S. Yeah, that's right. That's I. You know, I've never actually noticed that until now. That's my job. <laughs> that's, that's, my name. Job. that's how my brain works. <laughs> Freaking weird. <laughs> oh yeah. shit, I love it. Well, brother, thank you so much, man. This was awesome. It was fun. It was Absolutely. informative. Uh, got to get got to get to know you at a deeper level. I'm sure mm -hmm. the audience did as well. And um, you guys, look. Bottom line is, we're here together to do something different for all of us. It's not about me. It's not about him. It's not about you. It's about us, right? That's why in our other job, the QAnon world, uh, we say where we go one, we go all because we have to be one. We are humanity. We don't believe in the separation and division, you know, that color and that religion and that race. Really? 100%. Look where, look where it's got us. Yep. So we, we're saying enough. Where we go one, we go all. That means all of humanity. So we're just here to say, if we can help you in any way, if you see anything here that's like, hey, I wonder if I can do it too. Uh, Aaron is here. I'm here. Together we can, uh, I think, touch the world. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can launch a business, mm -hmm. do something from home, learn the, the skill sets necessary here with us, and um, whatever you want to do, achieve, etc. we will support. So with that said, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Aaron, again, thank you for uh, your time. And uh, for Absolutely. you guys to get a hold of Aaron, again, it's winwithmdc.com forward slash double A R O double N E double S. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Andre. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon, brother. Okay, you guys. Well, we did it again, man. This was a phenomenal, phenomenal episode with the one and only Mr. Aaron Ness on the Hemp Abition show that comes to you live on Facebook every Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific. And as you know, we, re we repurpose this content to YouTube at youtube.com forward slash the hemp ambition. And of course you find the hemp ambition show on iTunes, Stitcher and Spotify. So you can listen to the podcast as you're working out, as you're walking the dog or just throughout the house, whatever it is you're doing. And of course, uh, badassrefactory.com has all this stuff. So you have links to all these podcasts and YouTube channels, etc. on the website. You can go to shows. I think the tab is called shows. Uh, and of course, uh, drop your email with us in order to receive email updates as to what we have going on, events, coaching, products, etc. So with that said, thank you guys again. We'll see you next week on The Hemp Abition. Bye.